Sorry about that. I was freaking quiet because I was really just doing something to invite my friends because I had to quickly set this whole thing up. Anyways, we're starting off with the second edition of AEW Battle of the Belts with Sammy Guevara versus Scorpio Sky. And or Sammy and freaking Ty are freaking the first ones to come out. Yeah, last time freaking these two faced each other freaking there was some shady bullshit that happened. And here comes freaking Scorpio Sky and freaking Ethan Page. And also Dan Lambert, probably. Yep. I'm happy that Scorpio has been a champion. He's one of those guys that deserves it. But at the same time, I just don't like the fact that he's with freaking Dan Lambert and freaking Ethan Page. I think it's stupid that's what it is that Dan Lambert wears that stupid thing. I know he's starting off with a freaking brawl. Don't be weird about when you say something like that, Tony. <laughs> Adrenaline in my soul. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. You know that's not the lyrics. Even I know the lyrics. I know. I'm just joking. What's up, man? <laughs> no, and just had to freaking quickly get this whole thing set up because I never got a reply from Jay. So I pretty much had to assume that he, he's probably at work right now. All right. So we got uh, Ricochet versus uh, Sammy. Okay. I I like both these guys. I just wish that freaking Scorpio wasn't with freaking Ethan Page and Dan Lambert. Yeah, I mean Scorpio Sky, he's all right. Um, I've never really been fond of Sammy Guevara, but Scorpio Sky, he like he's cool. Yeah. I mean, he, I mean, he's a good. Mc, I think he could be a, a good mid card champion. But yeah. something tells me Sammy's gonna win, and then this title reign is just gonna be pointless for Scorpio. So. I hope that's not the case. Because one, <laughs> they're probably this one. Sammy and uh, Tay is probably gonna do something with that belt again. So, mm-hmm. gonna pull the page. Have you um have you played the game um uh, Elden Ring yet? No. Because I keep seeing it like in, I keep seeing like in trends and stuff. It's like, is that game actually good or is it just like just a trendy thing? It's really good. I just never played it. Because yeah, like, 
Yeah, because sometimes like when I see like these games that's trending, it's like, are these actually even good or or just you know, it's just a trend. It's good. Okay. Yeah, cause, like, I'm not like because thing is like I'm not really into like you know these games now like that they're pretty much look like movies you know they, they just look like playable movies to me so I, you know, I, I feel like the only game I actually kind of liked was Uncharted because that's actually like based on like it kind of reminded me of Indiana Jones and that's why I liked it and, and it kind of reminded me of Tomb Raider even though I never played Tomb Raider before Mm. Mm. I'm not a Souls fi- fan, but I freaking like watching other people play them. Yeah, I, yeah, I watch a lot of like you know playthroughs, like in you know a lot of gameplay videos and like uh, YouTube. And also, just because freaking, I figure feel like this is just a thing that normally has to be happening whenever some a group. A member of our group does my things. Sponsor by Mountain Dew. Do order. I just finished mine. I just finished it. Yeah, it's Mountain Dew. Finished it. I will yeah. give oh. people credit that can do a moonsault just figuring it out of nowhere, figuring like that, where they don't even have to be on the top rope and they can just flip off or something. That mm. and I can just do. I uh, give somebody credit if they can do a shooting star freaking out of nowhere. Mm. You know how dangerous a shooting star press is? Yeah, look what happened to Brock. Yeah. Yeah, look what happened to freaking Go ahead. That's what, because Brock freaking either didn't have enough distance or he freaking didn't get the whole rotation, you know, when he was good in the air. Probably because he's was a both. big ass motherfucker. Yeah, the thing is, but like he used to do it, like sometimes, like, like he was actually good it. at doing it. Yeah, I believe it. But it just, yeah, it was just that one botch, and he never did it again. Probably for. Probably it's right for the best, though. Yeah. Yeah, because because he had a really bad concussion. I, I think it was to the point where I think he said like he forgot the night, like I think he like forgot that night or something like that. Damn. Yeah, yeah, that's how like that's how bad he hit his head. Oh yeah, and freaking Max and Max Seidel like nearly like hurt himself because he slipped. Yeah. yeah, and that was in his debut too. Like what a way to debut! I still believe that whole thing with they show that thing of BT where somebody screwed up, screwed with the freaking turnbuckle, but. One sec. I was just like, I was listening to a message Rim sent me. Sorry. I was I went on a date with my girlfriend today. We went to Barnes and Noble. Had to get a book that we used to train my dog. And then we went to Ch- I went with her to try Chipotle for the first time. And then we went to a, a store that sold a bunch a bunch of old retro video games. Where I got a cup for it whenever I can get a PS2 that actually works. Which I only have to really get like that thing calibrated because it's the freaking thing in the tray. But you know. <laughs> hey, Ram. Oh, yeah, by the way, Ram, I know you're a huge Back to the Future fan. I just saw, like, the a part of Back to the Future 3. 
you know, it's like the last bit. But uh, just to let you know. Come on, Sammy. I never get the chance to see him when they're on TV. I know I've been meaning to watch them. <laughs> it sucks about you had to step in dog shit, but... <laughs> Over the knee of the TNT Mostly because I never have a chance to freaking see him on TV, like I said, and because my parents never watch them, so. I watch him after. I watch him after this is over with. Sammy's going up to the top. I think he's motioning he was going to do that 630. Oh, picking this Ethan Page. Slap him in the face, Ty. Heads up! So we got Tay. Um, got Tay and uh, Ethan arguing. Yeah, and Sammy did a shooting star right off the figure top in the ball. All everybody except for Ty on the floor. Roll up! Come on, Scorpio Sky. Oh, come on. Oh, he kicked out. Scorpio is going, setting up for TK, but Sammy was able to squirm out of it. Springboard, cut him! Almost fucked it up there. What's up, Bram? Oh, oh, that was a botch. That was a botch. It was almost a botch. Dan Lambert, fuck off! Oh, he's doing the freaking cutthroat like Undertaker and Chris Benoit. Is that, is that his new thing now? That's what he does? Oh, he's been doing it, but I haven't noticed. What? Uh-oh. No. No. Oh, thank God. I was about to say. No. Do not make Sammy Guevara. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the sexy chick from the freaking American time. Yes. Cat fight. Cat fight. Yes. Cat fight. Woo. Oh, rip the clothes off. Let's go. Rip it off. Cat fight. Save it for the OnlyFans, Jalen. You, you, lo you love to see it. You love to see it. G-T-H! Oh, look. Oh, look, man. No. Booyah! No. 
Hey, no. No. Oh, uh, he he won. Wait a minute. Wait, what's going on? You're not the only three-time TV champion now, Cody. Suck it! Wow. Wow. Scorpio Sky really... Wow. Well, they're going back to me and Jobbers. That or freaking Ethan Page will be the one that will be going after Sammy now. Wait a minute. Who the, who the heck is... Okay, it's for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Who is that? You don't know who Dalton Castle is? Uh, which one is Dalton Castle? I I, I know about Ring of Honor. The other, he's a dude that's freaking. Look, hang on, I, it's hard to explain, but he was the he was the other dude that's facing Gresham. His Gresham's the one that's the world champion for Ring of Honor right now. So that's the guy who looks kind of feminine. Yeah, I was going to say he looks more flamboyant than Gresham, but yeah. Oh, playing boy, yeah, yeah. He's pretty much a freaking Fandango and Tyler Breeze were actually giving a pu- giving a push. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Way only freaking Dalton is freaking a way better wrestler than both those jobbers. Oh, wow, what a way to. That Dalton is one of the most random freaking finishes I've ever se- I've ever seen. Freaking that he called, I think he, if I remember correctly, he calls it the Bangarang or something. The bang ring. Yes, he stole that from picking Skrillex, I assume. Hmm. There's a couple of Skrillex songs I like. I haven't listened to them in forever, but I like them. When dubstep was like the huge thing back in the day. <laughs> And of course, there's some dead driving by my house on a motorcycle. Hey, Julian. Hmm. How are you doing tonight, Jordan? Still on commercials. That's cool. If you get home in time, be able to hop in. You feel feel free to freaking hop in here if you want. (laughs) Adrenaline in my nope. (laughs) I know I've been giving Cody shit, but I still do like him. He's like the only guy I'm thinking WWE right now besides AJ Styles. Maybe like one or two other people that I actually still like. Does that mean I'm going to watch freaking WWE for just him and AJ? Fuck no! This fucking Mountain Dew I'm drinking is so fucking good! Whatever you say, Dalton. 
you can. I like you, Dalton Castle, only because I, you're a good wrestler and because you're a freaking gimmick, because you're like a freaking Vegas performer, but still. Still cannot believe you were Ring of Honor World Champion at one point. Dalton's no slouch. And here comes the current Ring of Honor world champion, Jonathan motherfucking Gresham. Eh. Both of them are pretty good champions, Jordan, but personally, I liked out of the two, I'd say Dalton was probably the worst one. But I don't know. That's up. That's an, that's a debate that I figured I didn't want to get into on my freaking show. I really hope him that sat and seeing be, can actually be, be a better wrestler than freaking great Kali was, so he can shut the people up that were talking shit about him. I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Show people what you got, you guys. Let's just let's just your first time in the big leagues. Pick it outside of in Ring of Honor, which is actually freaking popular. That was so freaking long ago that freaking Gresham freaking won that title. Dalton trying to get hit Gresham with a gut wrench, but freaking Gresham freaking is just constantly freaking. There we go. I want that guy's world heavyweight title replica.
Sorry, Milwaukee, you get the shaft. You don't get any other big AEW shows outside of that one show. <laughs> Faking these two motherfuckers are agile as hell and a fake hair can run by Gresham. Just kicks him in the shin. Drop kick! Anybody even use that downy crap? I don't. Then picture in picture right now with the, showing these commercials and Dalton and Gresham are still faking, grappling with each other and faking, showing, faking their skills as far as it goes with mat based wrestling. Gresham has faking Castle on a faking weird su submission, bending his fucking fingers back. There's a dog barking outside. There's a freaking couple of dogs barking outside right now. <laughs> Once one gets going in my neighborhood, they all start get going. Yep, Gresham going for the legs again. Weird ass progressive commercial. Anybody who watches this, freaking leave a comment and freaking either the in the comment section on this freaking show. Freaking if you have those Arby's boneless chicken wings, let me know how those are. Freaking Shaq. I have said my one of the show, Jalen, but freaking he's still, he's away right now still. I'll probably record a video of it tomorrow, but I was going to show. What's going on here? Red Bull freaking commercial for Easter. What the frick? What makes these chips taste so good? Here's Ed. It's mine. Let's get it. Get to the good stuff. Dalton Castle engaged in a technical chess match for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Dalton Castle taking a break on the outside. 
but there are no timeouts in professional wrestling. Gresham looking to elevate over the top, lands on his feet on the outside. I love how Cal that Gresham has worked on the upper body. Oh, what a counter by the Great job by Castle. Great job. Look at that. Still taking that left arm. As you saw in picture in picture, Jonathan Gresham, his game plan was very evident to us. No, it definitely was. Single off body parts. And while well, this duck at the duck at the duck here, he's going to get the advantage. A lot of ducks. They're both trying to freaking hit each other in the corner. They just keep dodging each other. Freaking egg. Both men one step ahead of the other and then one step behind the other. I'm going to see the mother now. Okay, I'm back. Who are those guys? What? Why do they keep doing that? If you're talking about the guys on the outside, that's just freaking Dalton's freaking entourage. Okay, but yeah, I'm I'm just looking at it and they just keep like reversing like in the corner like a little too much. <laughs> that's just the thing that, that sometimes they do. Do they do they usually do that? Uh, not sure. I know these guys mm. both freaking know know each other very well apparently. Mm. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm I'm a, I'm really casual Ring of Honor, so I, I just don't. I'm I'm not really familiar with these guys, so. It's all right. I didn't know about. Oh, see, I, I see a sign that says "I beat Ella Ring." See, you see, I was just talking about it. I just seen it too. Yeah. Oh, the women's world, the women's uh, titles coming up next. I still don't think Thunder Rose should have been. I mean, not Thunder Rose. Uh, Nyla Rose should have been the one to face her, but yeah, whatever. Oh, that's just his finish I was telling you about. Oh, and fake aggression rolled out of it. Oh, what? Well. Oh, he's doing like some spinning move. Uh, oh. And now they're just rolling around in the ring, trying to get, get a pin. Oh, my God. Super kick. Right back up. And a good. They just keep, they just keep rolling. Bam. Oh. Okay, now it's up. Oh, boot. okay, big boot. Oh, wow, he knows so that. Oh, Enziguri. Did he flip him off when he did it? Oh, clothesline. Stomping on his foot. And now I figure he's doing the octopus thing. At least he's trying to, but Dalton is freaking too big for him. Now he's got it in. Yeah, the black dude, he's he like he looks kind of short, but he's still muscular. It's kind of like um kind of like uh uh John Silver in a way. Not not I don't think he's that as as that short as John Silver, but he he kind of looks short. Remember short, but he's still thinking a badass. Oh, he tapped out. Okay. And I just noticed yeah, he buffed, though. the original Ring of Honor World title. Yeah, he buff. Oh, yeah, that is the old school Ring of Honor. Yeah, because I've seen that before. Ring of Honor got some cool championship, world championship designs. Yeah. Oh, God, here comes Jay Lethal. Yeah. Oh, look, wait, I got to see it. I got to see it first. All right, Black Machismo. Yeah. Oh, there's Great Kali. I mean, uh, that guy. Here he comes. Dang, he's so tall. Bam! He just chokes down both those motherfuckers. Heads up, Dalton. And oh. oh, chokes him. Oh, dang on the, dang on the floor, man. Mm -mm. 
Gresham might want to get oh, the Oh, that he caught him. Wow, that was cool. Like he tried to do like a suicide dive. And then he Dang, this dude is so big. What the? Nice. Yeah, Jay Lethal. Yeah. Let's go, Jay Lethal. See, this is what I want to see. I want to see Jay Lethal, man. Okay. All right. Just choking and slamming him. Ooh. Uh, wait. Is that? Wait a minute. Is that? Is that? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I thought that was Kenny King for a minute. I was about to say, Kenny King's here? <laughs> you think AW? I thought, I thought it was Kenny King for a minute. I think you freaking made higher that motherfucker. I've heard this freaking shit. Okay. Big da uh oh. Uh, Evan Bourne, you made a mistake. Uh, oh, oh, there goes your crutch. Oh, you're done. And here comes the freaking current Ring of Honor TV champion. Okay, Samoa Joe, let's go. I like that title design of the television championship, too. That's cool design. You got a lead pipe, too. Uh-oh. I think Joe might have clipped Sanjay with that pipe, though. Because Sanjay, yeah, I think he got him. On, he was on his ass on the floor. <laughs> he's he's laying down. Well, we already know the future match that's gonna happen. Yeah, either Joe's gonna be taking on the big motherfucker, or he's going after freaking lethal. Yeah. And at some point, Joe's probably going to go for the Ring of Honor world title. Mm. Yeah, I like that title design for the Television Championship. Looks good. It's like the one belt that they kept from Ring of Honor. Because they, they, they switched back to the old Ring of Honor tag title design and the world title design. Oh, so, that, so the Television Championship is the only one that... That uh, it's the current one, yeah, like designed from when they when Ring of Honor was still its own show. Okay, and I'm sure Robert oh, who's going to to talk on dynamite. <laughs> Ooh, who, who, who's facing Daniela? Oh, she looks she looks cute. Okay, ju uh, Jungle Boy. Oh, Dustin versus CM Punk. All oh, the coffin match. I'm looking forward to that. And Tony makes another big announcement. I wonder what that is. People are saying that it's faking this has to do with a new Japan AEW super show. Oh my my girl, my girl, yeah. You already know, know Jay Cargill. Title, right? Huh? You know Jade's losing that title next next Friday, right? No, no, she's not. No. She ain't. Come on. It's Jade. Well, Come I'm on. She ain't. And thinking if I have to watch another NXT episode from her. She ain't, she ain't gonna lose, bro. Come on. To Roger, to Roger Strong's girl? Nah. I don't see it happening. I don't think that Marina Shafir's Roger Strong's girl, but. Oscar Mayer commercial. <laughs> if you can choose to be kind to your body with this bar made with almonds, imagine what other kind of choices you can make. A farmer has solved world hunger. I 
I'm not leaving without these diamonds. Diamonds? I'm just here for the stains. Priscilla Proclean. Oh, it's more than clean. It's Priscilla Proclean. Never be afraid of your strength. Because your body is capable of amazing things. Now they're showing that weird fake commercial for that fake and like total gym, whatever the hell it's called, rip off. I'll never understand this commercial for this al allergy medicine crap. Yeah, I, I wasn't surprised at much otaku, but yeah, you know, yeah, it's been a pretty good show so far. I don't know how much longer freaking AEW's TV deal is with freaking TNT and or TBS, but freaking people are already saying that they might not, that they freaking things might happen AEW because they might not be on TBS for ver after the freaking deal's over. And I freaking I think that's just a load. Freaking I think that TNT is gonna re re renew freaking AEW for a few for a few more years, but we still get plenty of time between then and now. Kick some ass, Thunder Rosa. And here comes Thunder, I mean, not Thunder Rosa, here comes Nyla Rose. God dang it. It was the second ever ring of, I mean, why do I have Ring of Honor on my mind right now? Not only was the freaking second ever AEW Women's Champion, shit. And when she beat Riho, even though freaking everybody, including me, agrees that freaking she should have been the first and not Riho, but that's just me. Let's go, Thunder Rosa. I like that new design in the women's title. Yeah, no, you are correct. 
no comment on that, Otaku, because I'm pretty sure my girlfriend's probably watching. Well, at least she will be. That guy got a face full of freaking dose too. Come on, Thunder Rosa. Kick Nile's ass. And I'm glad that Vicky isn't there at ringside because she gets so fucking annoying. All right, we got Thunder Rosa versus Samoja. I mean, uh, Nyla Rose. Shout out to Rem. Oh, what's that? What's that on Nyla's face? I would assume it's some kind of freaking tribal thing. Hmm. Or she was going for like some type of creepy freaking face paint. I don't know. And yes, double nothing's coming up. It, uh, that's like the 29th of May. And I'm looking forward to it. I still wish that some of these older Pokemon games weren't so expensive, though. I wish I'd gotten them when they came out back in the day. Hmm. Power bomb on the apron. Oh. I don't care about this truck commercial. This 
Some good pizza right here. I mean, what kind of pizza are you eating? Uh, Torstinos. Yeah. Yeah, those really are good. good. I had Wendy's. Yeah, lady, don't want to get your stuff off that big inflatable before it goes in the water. Stupid ass state farm commercial. Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell. Me too. I'm still mad they got rid of the loaded grillers, but I found something else that has kind of replaced them, but still. Yeah, the, aren't they the one that has the nacho fries or whatever? Yeah. yeah I want to try those. I haven't tried those yet. Man, when I was a kid, I used to love the NBA. Like My favorite basketball player, uh, my favorite basketball players were freaking Jason Kidd and Allen Iverson. I, dude, I had their jerseys as a kid. But ever since I went to, into wrestling, bro, uh, I never looked back. Oh, no, it's that freaking horrible. <laughs> it's that terrible Harley Quinn movie. Oh, man, that was garbage. That sucked, too, because I love Harley Quinn, but that movie was garbage. Stunner! Look good, it was terrible stutter. <laughs> Not as bad as that one he did this freaking Vince McMahon at WrestleMania. No, well, Austin Theory had a good sell though. I still can't believe that she was in freaking she was in freaking GTS and now look where she she's at yeah hard to believe she's been in Lucha Underground too I didn't know that I think if I remember correctly she was Cobra Moon hmm she was the leader of the reptile tribe. Reptile? Or from combat? No. It's like this freaking group of people that... It's freaking hard to explain. You'd have to have watched Lucha Underground back in the day to know what the heck I'm talking about. Okay. You know the wrestler Drago? Drago? He wrestles in AAA, but in Lucha Underground, he was a dragon that comes that came to Earth and has it. You know, as a human, the wrestle. I, I don't. I don't think I have. I would. I would have to look at him to see. He's actually a pretty good wrestler. He always teamed mm. up with Aerostar and Lucha Underground. Mm. And the thing with Aerostar is that I still think this freaking. I wish they could have freaking explained it. Aerostar in the like the last episode of Lucha Underground, freaking was able to resurrect somebody from the dead. Mm. He's like he's, he's supposed to be like this warrior from freaking space. Oh, okay. Lucha Underground had some freaking out there characters, and that's but that's how I was introduced to Phoenix, Pentagon, and 
all of them. Hey, at least they have some characters, though. Yeah. Because I, cause I have seen a little bit of Lucha Underground, not like full episodes, but I've seen a little bit of it. So I'll give one thing. They have, they have some unique characters, and that's why I like in wrestling. Uh, when I saw Pentagon Jr., I thought that was the coolest looking luchador I've ever seen. He was one of my favorites from that ch- since the first time I seen him in that show. I do like he like, he, he was like if like if Ministry of Darkness was still a thing, I could see him being it. All right, Thunder Rosa. Rosa won. And it nearly allowed her to retain the AEW Women's World Championship, but she can't win yet. Now, she's awfully upset right now. She's awfully disappointed. She's got to keep it up. Yeah, but Thunder Rosa is known for that fire. And just seeing her, she brings the fire. Oh, she brings it to the power of the power. Oh, now Nally's fight, fighting back. Close line. Choke slam. Choke slam by Nyla Rose. A new hairstyle or not? Yeah, man. Nyla Rose may be on the verge of becoming a two-time AEW yeah. Women's World Champion. Nyla Rose is so in on that. Nyla Rose on the middle rope. Got her up. Thunder Rosa, Thunder Rosa lands on her feet. Nyla Rose. Thunder Rosa pushed in the ropes. Clothesline by Nyla. Larry, Larry one, two, go. Again, showing that toughness and that heart and the fortitude by Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa in deep water here tonight in her first Attempt to defend the AEW Suplex. Rose. Oh, Thunder Rose just barely kicked out there. Almost. Oh god, what is Nyla going for now? He's going to the middle rope and picking Thunder Rose's head is draped over the apron. Oh thank god, freaking Thunder Rose moved out of the way. Roll up! Oop, now I caught her. World's strongest slam looking like move. Roll up. Thunder Rosa scores the win after that roll up out the Hurricane Rana. And that's the second edition of the Battle of the Belts. I thought it was a pretty good show, even though the, you know, I will say this much. And yes, I freaking do say freaking things when it's deserved for as far as it goes with AEW. I'm not just a freaking show for the freaking company all the time. One second. There you go. Um, 
the women's match what it would have been better. It was really slow and stuff like that. But um, it was a it was a good match. It was alright. wasn't bad. Freaking thankfully, you know. Jalen's freaking away again right now, and I give the show an eight. You know, I look forward to next week's Dynamite. That show's going to be really freaking good, and I'm looking forward to Rampage too. I appreciate everybody who came by, and I appreciate you for hopping in, Jalen. Even though you probably don't. Even if you can hear me right now. And um, I'll see you guys later. Happy Easter, everybody. Peace out, mother.